Hello guys, it's Richard FLD here again. Um, topic of this video, it's another computer related video, uh, but recently I've noticed um, my fans have been getting noisy. Um, you turn the computer on, it'll be right for a few seconds, then you sort of get a noise from the fans. Um, and it's bloody annoying, well, it's really annoying for me, and I assume it'll, <laughs> it'll be pretty annoying for other people. Um, so it's quite an easy fix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix it. All you need is a screwdriver. Obviously, get your side case off. Screw there, screw down there, and then your side case usually just pulls away. Um, obviously, uh, if you're new to sort of opening up your computer, be very careful. Um, there's a few things you want to be aware of. Uh, one, chiefly, static discharge. Um, a couple of ways around that. Always make sure you earthed out on the computer's body obviously I've got this left plugged in um, I, normally I'd advise people to unplug their computer but if you know what you're doing it's not too bad just don't go sort of like touching random things capacitors and circuitry and then you'll be alright just basically avoid touching anything that remotely resembles anything important um, but for this exercise, um, it's fairly simple. Basically, we've got a fan here, we've got a fan there. Um, I've actually got two on my side case down here. Um, I actually did those not long ago, so um, I'll just be showing you these today. I have actually got one in there as well. Uh, actually, I've got one up there, but I have that one on a little switch in case things are getting really, really warm, which doesn't usually happen too often. But, um... Yeah, I just like keeping everything in tip-top condition. But anyway, two fans. Um, these are the main culprits. These are actually quite new, um, so I don't know why they're playing up. But anyway, um, what you need to do, you need to take the fans off. If you come around the back here, yeah, you can see the fans sitting there. They've got two little grills over them. You can see the screws. One, two, three, and four. And same for the other one. Um, for some reason that doesn't have a screw in it, I do not know why. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, whack those screws off and obviously make a note of which way the fans are facing. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll just quickly whack one of these off and I'll I'll show you what's going on. So um, yeah, if you, uh, I'll just quickly pause this video and whack one off for you. Right, and here we have a fan. Um, obviously that was the side facing us. Um, what you should do on a fairly regular basis is um, give your computer a damn good clean because uh, you can see there's some dust building up. Sometimes they can get so caked up with dust um, they just become so inefficient. Um, so I've got my hoover here so as I'm going along I'm sort of giving things a hoover. I'll hoover out the fans. Um, there's a fan under here I'll hoover out sort of in the back of my PSU. Um, there's this fan. Um, you get to this one by taking the case off. That just pops off with enough thing. you got to watch out though. The case is held on by these little clips that sort of expand into the hole. Um, and yours might be as well. So you just got to watch out for that because those clips have a nasty habit of breaking as does anything plastic really. But um, this case is quite good but if you've got a cheap case um, just watch out for that um, so what I'm going to do is on most fans obviously not all um, these are quite decent these are Gene Tech fans so they're pretty good if you turn the fan over this will be the side facing that way <coughs> you've got a little sticker with a little depression uh, if I just um, I didn't put the camera down for a second uh, do -do -do -do. <coughs> Just leave that like that. Uh, I'll try and show you what I'm doing on the camera. Um, get a knife or something sharp, and if you feel in the depression on the fan here, uh, oh, I think I just need a light for a second. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there's a little depression here, and it feels like a hole, but it's not. It's actually a little cover. So what you want to do with your knife, um, you can take this off. This isn't. Uh, uh, <clears throat> this isn't that important, it's just a little sticker to keep things sealed. You then pop that off, that pulls off like that. Chuck it in the bin. 
and as you can see you've got a little it looks like a little sort of plug and with something sharp be careful not to mash these um, these are quite important you want to just get that into there Oops. mind your fingers um, this knife is absolutely deadly sharp so I'm just trying to be careful oh. try not to do that <laughs> Sometimes it's unavoidable. Um. <coughs> All <Right. coughs> you can see we've got in there is the, the bearing. Um, on the other side, you don't want to go squirting stuff into the other side. You can, well, you can take that off. You won't be able to get anything. But if you look inside, in there, there's a bit of a gap, and you can see the little um, copper coils. Well, that's, that's the motor in there. You do not want to be squirting stuff in. Um, Basically, you've got a few options. Uh, there is the classic all round option, but to be honest, WD 40 isn't really a lubricant. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, okay, it's a good all rounder for like freeing off screws and rust and stuff, but it's not a lubricant. Uh, what I opt for is well, actually, the best thing to use in most situations, if you can get it in there, which involves taking things apart, is. I can't get the lid off. Um, you've got red rubber grease. Um, you've also got red fluid grease, which would be the ideal thing to use. But what I'm using here, two-stroke oil. And it works a absolute charm. Now, I will say one thing. Uh, you do not need much. And I will demonstrate that. Oh, let's get it in, I guess. <clears throat> right, all you need to do you got that there ready. You get your oil. Try not to spill it all over the carpet. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the end of this knife, get a little bit on there, and then just drip a couple of drops in. Now, you might think I'm being a bit frugal. Um, I can get enough on there. But honestly, like three or four tiny little drops is all you can have. Oh, that's quite a big one. A drop. Well, that's a fairly decent sized drop in there. Uh, how much we got in there? Maybe one more time. Actually, I can just scrape off the last remnants of. There we go. Maybe a tiny bit more. Now, there we go. Uh, if anything, that's probably a little bit full, but it should be alright. Uh, as you can see there, we've got a bearing in there, and it's quite a bit of grease. <coughs> I really need a tripod. Um, Woo! Easy. Now what you want to do is you just want to spin it around a few times, <clears throat> make sure all that grease is in there, and also just sit there for a while, just work it in, make sure it's getting all in there. Now the problem is if you put too much in, it'll just work its way out eventually, and it will work its way out over all your components, and yeah, that's, or it'll just get flung out of the back and end up all up your wall. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't understand what's wrong with these fans. I bought them not that long ago, but right, that should be done. That should be fine. Take that off there. Put your little plug back in. Like so. Right, that goes in. Now, what you can do, if, if you clean that off, you can put a bit of, um, I don't know any, um, say, Put a bit of um, electrical tape over there just to seal it off, but to be honest, there's not much in there, so I won't bother. Now, all you need to do is put it back and screw it on. Um, and jobs, jobs are good, basically. Um, I'm just giving my computer just a good clean today, so I'm going to put this fan back on. Um, I might do the same to the ones on my side case down there. 
Um, that one's basically a new fan, so that should be alright. Um, and I'll probably do that one. And I'm just going to give my computer a good hoover out. And you will notice if you give your computer a hoover out, it will be so much more silent. Um, and it will just work cool better as well. So, um, yeah, I um, hope that's of benefit to someone out there who's got noisy fans. Um, but yeah, these should be like super silent now. So, excellent. Um, hope, yeah, hope this has helped someone. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you later. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.